We've returned to our quest of Christian's journey to patriarch status through the SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 story mode. We just got screwed out of the World Heavyweight Championship in the previous episode, and our hopes of renown and glory have been dashed for the moment. Although, General Manager Eric Bischoff has assured us we've got a title match coming our way if we can do him a favor and participate in a Legends World Tour. Let's get into it. We're back in action, going one-on-one -on -one with the British Bulldog. The rage that is flowing through Christian from being shysted out of the World Heavyweight Championship will keep us safe from any chin locks and propel us forward to a convincing victory for Captain Charisma here. Hey now, don't get cocky, Daddy-o. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be as good in the ring as you seem to be with the ladies. Because the excellence of execution requested a submission match. And I gave it to him. He said something about putting the past behind him here tonight. A submission match, huh? Well, it wouldn't be the first time Bret Hart tapped out in Montreal to a legend in the making. See you around, Jimmy. Good luck! Everyone knows that Bret Hart has some very unhappy memories right here in Montreal. It's likely to be an uphill battle for his opponent in this submission match. And you've got the figure that Bret's out to exercise those demons here tonight. I hadn't even realized how savage the lines were right here, and Christian held no punches and verbally decimated the hitman. But now we are faced with the challenge of a submission match. The excellence of execution certainly wasn't going to make it easy, but here in Montreal, the hitman's bad luck continued as we were finally able to make Bret Hart submit after weakening him with a couple unprettiers. Christian's chaperone duty on this Legends tour isn't over, and we've got quite the tall task ahead of us, and that's a Hell in a Cell match with Mankind and The Undertaker. Triple threats are always so volatile, and this unpredictable environment will only add to that element. However, Captain Charisma is hell-bent on establishing himself as THE most legendary superstar in WWE today, and a victory here could really make a statement and maybe get us back on track towards the championship. Mankind once again narrowly escaped his doom, and we picked up another big victory. Stone Cold Steve Austin is on SmackDown stirring the pot and these actions would eventually land us in a tag team match teaming alongside the Rattlesnake to take on The Rock and Hulk Hogan. What an opportunity this has turned into for Christian to son all of these legends of the ring. Austin and I made a formidable team. It was a battle that went back and forth and there were moments of doubt, though in the end we were able to pick up the tag team victory following more than a few unprettiers. Back on Raw, we have got ourselves featured in a legends only battle royal that we clearly belong in. Bret Hart, Mankind, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, and Stone Cold Steve Austin all stand in the way of our triumph here, and we aren't going to hold anything back. We managed to eliminate the Immortal early, and we were steadily handing out signature maneuvers for these legends. The Rock vultured a pinfall on Bret Hart after we hit a superplex on him, and we promptly took out Mankind shortly after. Stone Cold hit The Rock with a stunner, but had depleted his energy and we were able to finish the monumental clash with a pinfall over the Texas Rattlesnake. legendary about you is the beat you just took in the middle of this damn ring. Mankind may be one dumb, psychotic some bitch, but he's earned something you ain't got yet, and that's my respect, and that's all I got to say about that. And now that it's just you and me, I suggest you collect your damn teeth, put your little sock back in your pants, and drag your lumpy ass back to the boiler room before Stone Cold changes his mind, stomps a mud hole in your ass, and walks it dry. While I appreciate having your respect, Austin, I beg to differ on just one point. Mr. Sacco may in fact be little, but to be fair, it is just a bit chilly in this arena. What's more, I'm content to take my leave as Japan is one of the few places I can find live nutrition without being harassed by some sort of animal rights enforcement. But before I go, I offer what I like to think of as legendary words of encouragement to our would-be legend. Have a nice day! You know, Jimmy Hart is supposed to be managing this tour. But it seems like he's lost control of some of the legends. 
I think you're right. Looks like I'm gonna have to take matters into my own hands. So, what are you gonna do about Steve Austin and Mankind? Next week in New York City is your last chance to settle this. That crazy Mankind reached into his pants, grabbed a sock, and shoved it right down your throat. Yuck! That is so gross. I think he deserves a little payback next week. Yeah, but Stone Cold's just as guilty. Plus, he's meaner. And you might never get another chance to face a legend like him. Who says it's gotta be an either-or choice? What do you mean? Maybe I can only get one official match sanctioned for next week. But that doesn't mean I can't find one of those jokers somewhere else beforehand and get a little payback. I like your plan. So, who's it gonna be? I'm not sure when we decided we wanted to play Peacemaker here, but it clearly got us into some hot water. We've gone on the hunt for some smoke from the legends who have decided to band against us. This would lead to finding Mankind backstage and ensuring he in fact does not have a nice day. Following the brawl, we're going up against Stone Cold in a first blood match. The Patriarch is truly being put up to the test in numerous categories. Can we muster the fortitude to continue to fight? First blood matches are typically all about brutality, though I shamelessly tend to take a strategic approach. Using the tools available around the ring area, which clearly works well for me, and we put Steve Austin down. This will mark the end of the Legends Tour for us, and as we approach Bischoff to collect the title shot we were promised, we find that Eric Bischoff is once again screwing us over, and we've got no title shot coming our way at this moment. Listen to me very carefully, Eric. I said I'd go on that world tour if I came home to a title match. I kept my part of the deal. So if you think- Take your hands off me right now! You've already crossed a line, and if you ever want to get anywhere near a title again, you'll let me go immediately. Fine, Eric. Have it your way. Just remember, what goes around, comes around. Come on, Christy. Let's get the hell out of here before I do something we're all gonna regret. This isn't over between us, Bischoff. We've got the Royal Rumble approaching, and we will tackle that in the next installment of this series. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.